On today's Consumer Alert, inflation unfortunately appears to be harder to tame than many experts thought. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is reporting prices rose 3.5 percent last month. And while the usual suspects of food and gas saw increases, the most staggering rise was car insurance rates up 22 percent. No, I was looking at these numbers this morning and it is something to see now. It's a topic so many people feel very strongly about, as you can see from our Facebook post right now. There are more than 480 comments and counting. And 7 Action News reporter Tierra Braddock spoke with drivers from Detroit to Ferndale to Warren to see how they're dealing with the surge in rates. How much do you pay for car insurance? I'm asking that because the Bureau of Labor Statistics just released new data that shows car insurance premiums have gone up by 22%. I have never had an accident. I have never had an accident. I've been driving since I was 16. Never had an accident. Still high insurance. Yeah, we pay over $450 a month. Dr. Crystal Morrison lives in Detroit and says she is constantly dealing with a surge in car insurance prices. Why the insurance rate is so much higher? It does not compute. I spoke to another Detroit resident who switched car insurance companies in order to save money. What's the highest you paid and what's the lowest you paid? Highest would be six and then the lowest would be like 226. I also caught up with a Warren resident who said if he didn't have to have car insurance, he wouldn't. These prices, I will keep my money and keep on on life. And this Ferndale resident says his car insurance went up after he moved to Michigan from Ohio. As soon as I moved up here, as soon as I put that address in there, my insurance doubled. A little, probably even more than doubled. I think we're close to like 500 between me and my wife. I'm over 40, you know, she's close to 40. And so why are prices soaring? Doug Heller, the director of insurance from the Consumer Federation of America, says there are two main factors. Car repair still is pretty high, and so that's a pressure point for insurance companies. They have to fix our cars, and the cost of repairs uh, is going up, and part of that is just kind of inflation. Heller says the other factor is that the insurance industry has a lot of power in the marketplace. Every one of us has to buy auto insurance. So they've got a captive market. Meanwhile, Dr. Crystal Morrison has hoped that drivers will soon feel a little relief when it comes to car insurance payments. I think that that rate is going to change. It's going to get better. Now, if you're looking for cheaper insurance policies, Doug Heller says the best thing you can do is shop around and compare policies from different companies. Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News. We thank Tierra for that report.